Mental health to me is just um, really paying attention to the mindset of, of um, our athletes uh, this day and time. But in general, I think every one of us has to be conscious of mental health and the well-being. And uh, I think the day of the past where um, you know, things being perceived are, are things of the past. I think we have to pay attention closely to uh, what the, the, uh, our, in the realm of our student athletes, what they're, what they're giving us, what they're telling us, and, and just communication uh, in general, I think, can, can do a lot to make some headway where mental health is concerned. Mental health is everything for us at Longwood. Um, you know, we talk about it on, on a regular occasion. Uh, in the fall, we give our guys Saturday and Sunday off every single week in the fall, um, largely in part to you know, their mental health, giving them a time to hit the reset button. Um, we go hard Monday through Friday, and a as everyone knows, baseball is such a big game of failure. Um, you know, we try to give them those two days off where they can just kind of kick back, relax, um, again, hit the reset button, and um, you know, kind of get a fresh start every week. Mental health means uh, a lot to me. Um, it just is kind of a state of being, and uh, it's something that I believe gets overlooked and uh, is is uh, doesn't get the attention that it needs. Um, it's it's essential. Uh, if you if you if you're not in a good place in a men, you know mental state, uh, it's going to impact everything in your life and those around you. And um, so it just talks about having you know I think it's more about you know being stable uh, and, and, and in a healthy place entirely. I think it's just a daily check-in with them uh, at the beginning of every practice, you know, while they're stretching, going around and just having a 10-15 a uh, second conversation just to check in and say hello and making sure their voice and their body language is, is what we hope it is. The biggest thing is just communication. Uh, try to interact with each guy every day. Sometimes that's tough with a big roster, but it's something we talk about as a coaching staff that amongst us we want to make sure we interact with each kid on a daily basis at practice uh, and uh, you know get a sense and gauge you know if, if somebody's going through something and, and trying to make them all understand that our doors open every day. We check in on the mental health of our student athletes uh, pretty much on a daily basis and it's as simple as how are you, how are you doing, how are your classes going and uh, just making sure there's that daily reminder that um, we're here for you. It's a daily conversation with our guys, you know, constantly monitoring, um, you know, their well-being. Um, you know, I think it starts with having great relationships with them and them having the ability to come into your office, talk to you at any point, um, them feeling comfortable enough, and, and that's where it starts at the core of, of having great relationships with them. But, uh, you know, every time they walk in the dugout, you know, they might be a little bit down, they might be a little bit different, their vibe might be off, and it, it, anything could affect them, something academically, something personally, a relationship in their life, and it's our job to you know, as coaches to make sure that we monitor those things. We actually have a check-in. Um, actually, I just finished them this week with our new guys. And yeah, sometimes it's a, it's a quick 10-minute meeting, um, see how they're doing, and then we do check-in during stretch on a daily basis.